Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phonebench and today we are benchmarking the Lava Iris 450 color. Let's get into the hardware specifications. You can see the model number up top, it's the Iris 450 and running on the MediaTek MT6572 chipset. And at 4.2.2 with a 4.5 inch FWVGA IPS display, that's 480 by 854 pixels. Coming to system information, it's powered by the ARM V7 based dual core 1.3 GHz processor with Mali 400 MP GPU. You have 468 MB of RAM out of 512 MB, 1.3 GB of internal storage. Coming to camera, you have a 5 megapixel primary camera. It comes with a LED flash and can record up to 720p video. You also have a VGA front facing camera. You have a 1800 mAh lithium ion battery. It's removable and you have an accelerometer, approximately sensor and light sensor. All are working fine. The light sensor is currently off as auto brightness is disabled. So let's start with the Antutu benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here. We have fast forward all the benchmarks to get to the results quickly. So scores have now loaded. Let's have a look. We got a score of 11228 which is a very good score and it's even higher than the Zolo A510S which comes with 1 GB of RAM. Now we are running the quadrant benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here as well. It's been fast forwarded. Let's sum in the scores to get a comparison chart going. So we got a score of 4235 which is again a very high score especially for this chipset and it's higher than the Zolo A510S, Canvas 1A74 as well as the Zolo A500S which are all powered by the same chipset. Now we are running the Nina Mark 2 benchmark, it will test the graphics prowess and give us a frame rate. So you got a frame rate score of 40 FPS which is again pretty similar to the rest of the offerings available in this segment and we believe Iron Gaming would be possible. Now we are running the HTML5 chapter of Velamo, it will test the Sun Spider as well as V8 benchmark suit, it's been fast forwarded. So we got a HTML5 score of 1705 which is again a very good score. Generally the scores with this chipset hover around the 1670 mark and you can see it's just below the Lenovo K900 which is a very good place to be. Now we are running the metal chapter of Velamo. It will test the CPU, processing capabilities. We got a score of 513 which is again among the higher range in this segment and just below the Zolo A510S and you can see here too it's below the Galaxy S3 which is a quad core processor phone. So now we are running Linpack single thread test. We got a score of 95.3, which is again a very good score. Now let's do the multi thread test. So we got a score of 117, again pretty much in realm with other phones in this segment. And these are very good scores, meaning high number crunching capabilities. So I have four fingers on the display, but you can see that only two are detected. So it's a two point multi touch display. So folks, that was the benchmarking review of the Lava LS450 color. You can see the colorful back panel that we have already applied. It came free within the box. It has good build quality, good construction. It feels really good to hold in the hand as well. It's quite light. And even in terms of general performance and day-to-day -day use, it feels really good. The display has good viewing angles. It's quite sharp as well. We'll be back with lots more on the Lava RS 450 color, including a look at its camera. Till then, you can watch its unboxing, the unboxing of the Zolo Q1010i, as well as the benchmarks of the Zolo Q1010i from right here. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.